movie noticed to be like kind of maybe three major issues in the dog industry right now that are kind of an epidemic. I think the main issue we see right now in the dog training industry is that there's no unity. Uh, it's very sectioned off depending on what your specific focus may be, whether you're in the volunteer, foster, um, you know, perspective, or if you're into the more um, dog enthusiast, show dog um, category, um, there really is no unity among the entire dog owner um, community, if you will. And that's kind of the, uh, the big problem, I think, the fact that everybody wants to keep their their skills a secret. Why do you think that is? So I think the main reason that dog trainers want to keep their skills a secret is partially because you're controlling the demand of your your service that you're providing. Realistically, if you're a magician and you don't show anybody how to do your magic trick, um, there's a huge demand for your presence because people are curious as to how you're able to accomplish um, those goals. But I think dog trainers, even though we might be called uh, dog whisperers or people tend to think that we might have a specific um, special power, if you will, realistically, all it is is hard work. It's um, a lot about routine and there really is no special power that makes a dog trainer any different than a, a traditional dog owner. So I think the main problem we see is the fact that somebody who rescues a dog and can teach it the basic obedient commands then thinks that they have something special and unique that they shouldn't share with anybody. And that's a closed-minded way of looking at um, the service industry when we all try to help out um, the dogs at the end of the day. The main reason dogs, um, or the main reason that dog trainers got into the business for the most part, uh, I would say, at least for me specifically, is I rescued a dog and I had an experience when I rescued that dog, rehabilitated it, and gave it a better life. So I think dog trainers all start out um, genuine, but the problem is that genuine, um, that genuine moment that made you decide that you're going to be a dog trainer, you're gonna work in the pet service industry, that slowly dissipates over time because we get focused on how to sustain a business, how do we grow, how do we um, deal with competition, but realistically, we're all in this together. The dog training industry is sectioned off, similar to the way that our government's sectioned off. There's Democrats, there's Republicans, there's Independents, there's the Tea Party. We have all these different groupings, but at the end of the day, are we all not United States citizens? Are we not human beings? Um, I mean, we're seeing right now that there's almost uh, you know, a race war going on right now in the United States. And uh, we tend to, to forget that there is no um, color assigned to race. There is no black, white, brown, yellow. It's the human race and we're all part of this together. And it's the same problem that we're facing with the dog industry is that everybody wants to classify themselves as a trainer, a volunteer, a foster, an enthusiast, or just an owner, a walker, or a pet sitter, whatever you are, we're all in this together. We're all trying to make a difference. But if we all act on our own specific agendas, we're never going to reach a end result that actually can make some change. And I think the, the problem with making a, a big change um, in the dog training industry is trying to solve a big problem. Solving problems like global warming and the incarceration rates in the United States. These are big problems and for the most part we don't know how to go about solving them because they're so big. It's kind of, um, look at it like building a house. If I told you how to um, build a house at first it might seem very overwhelming but when you think about instructions to building anything you have steps and the first thing you need to do is start with step one then step two build the foundation um, and that's super important um, in solving any problem is is realizing that there are steps that can be taken to solve the problem um, however we need to do that